Hey guys, it's Tepco Sack Repair. Today we're gonna to be talking about surging under power. Now I made another video about surging when uh, an engine is idling. I'll put a link up here. Go check that out, I did it on a generator. Uh, and I also made a video about what I'm gonna go over today, but I have better lighting systems now and I wanna explain it a little better and, uh, and show you what's going on. All right guys, so one of the first things you need to know about fixing problems is diagnosing them and finding out what's going on and why it's causing the problem so that you can target your repairs in the right place. So what's happening with this one, this is a pressure washer, and um, the issue that we're having and that you'll have is that when you um, idle, it'll idle fine. Say so you start to cut the grass with a mower, you can cut some of the grass and then it starts to die on you like it's running out of fuel. You shut it off, turn it back on again, and it runs fine again for a little bit and you have the same problem over and over. What's happening is your bowl is not filling up completely with fuel. So here on this pressure washer, the, um, the bowl goes on right here. And when you take this off, you'll have your bowl underneath it now. But there's just a bolt, it's a jet on the bottom, you need to make sure that it's clear. This comes out of the bottom, the bowl comes off. Now here's the problem that you're gonna, that you're gonna see. This float right here needs to be all the way up. All right, it needs to be level. So the, the uh, gasket line right here where the bowl mounts should be the same as this line right here. But if you look, when I push this up, that's as far as it goes. So it's basically all the way sitting in the bottom of the bowl. And what happens is when fuel comes in, the fuel's gonna come in, it's gonna come through the inlet where the uh, needle valve is right here, and then it'll only fill this until the bowl lifts a little bit and cuts the fuel off. So you'll get an engine that runs a little bit, this drops down, runs a little bit, and then when you put a heavy load on it and you really need to use some fuel, that little bit of fuel that's in there is not enough to keep up with what you're trying to do. So we're going to go ahead and pull this carburetor off. I'm going to pull this out and I'll show you what we need to fix. All right, guys, so here's the carburetor off of the machine. Uh, this is what we're looking at here. Again, here's our float. It's not going up all the way. We need to take this pin out here. Uh, and this pin just sits in there. You can just kind of lightly tap it or push it and pull it out. Now, this also had a lot of water sitting in it which is what's causing all this corrosion, and I'll address that in a little bit. But uh, right now we're gonna concentrate on what's going on with this. So here we have our, um, our float needle, right? and you see the needle is metal. So the, a lot of needles will have a, uh, a rubber tip on them, and the rubber tip sometimes can get a ring around it, and it's another problem. Uh, but with this right here, we're talking about what's down inside there. Now inside of there, there is a rubber, um, a rubber red rubber seat okay it's the needle seat and you need to get in there and get that out sometimes it's a little difficult um, I'm using a uh, this is a snap on it's got a little hook on the end of it you don't want to dig your way in there try to get it right into the center where the needle would go and just kind of rotate it a couple times and try to pull it out and sometimes what I'll do is I'll take some compressed air and I will blow it through uh, the inlet here, which what I'll do here in just a second. But what I want to try to do is get this out of here without digging into the sides. And I can feel that I'm only pushing on rubber. I'm not pushing on anything um, metal in there. I can, I can feel that in there. If I can't get this out here, I'm going to do is um, get a little hook and then uh, get it out of there. Let's see. Here we go. It's loose in there now, so let's get it out all the way. All right, so here we are. So here is what we're looking at here, and this is the piece that swells up. It's just a rubber, okay, it's just a rubber seat. It has ribs on one side and it's smooth on the other. And I'll show you which way to put that in. Now the kit we're gonna be using is gonna be this right here. This is uh, Briggs & Stratton, it's for this engine. This is a uh, five horsepower. So 398188. Make sure you get the right one for yours. The, the needle will be a little different. Most likely the seat's going to be the same, but the needle will be different. So what we're going to do here is um, show you what's in here. So here's our brand new um, needle and a seat. And a lot of shops will only sell this as a kit. Uh, but I gave you the part number there, and you might have to order it. Shops are more likely to carry the full kit instead of just this. Uh, you can order a bunch of these, too, if you go on Amazon. You can order a whole ton of these all at once so that you have uh, you know, a bunch of them and don't have to worry about um, having to buy a whole kit at each time. So here's the instructions here, and the instructions, they'll say uh, install the inlet valve seat with groove away from float needle. So what they're saying here is if you look at this, you have a, a smooth side, 
there's a rib side and the other side is a smooth side. So you always want the smooth side to be where the needle touches. That's what they mean, okay? So what we're gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this carburetor out and get it all ready and I'll show you how I put it in. All right, so let's get it installed. I got it cleaned up here, ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, seat. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, seal glide on it. I use this stuff for all rubber whenever I'm using any um, rubber fittings or O-rings or anything like that just to help it so it slides in nice and we don't have any, have any binding. All right, so I'm just gonna put that all over the seal. I'm gonna take a, uh, a wire, and I like using a wire, it just helps guide it in straight. Put it right through, remember the way you wanna have it. Here's the ribs are going in first. Put it down the hole there, just kind of wiggle it, and push it down in there with another uh, another tool, just gently push it in there. So that you get it just about all the way down. The wire keeps it straight so it doesn't get twisted or anything. I just barely tapped it. Okay, wire's out. And then I use a, uh, a punch like this right here, it just fits right in there perfectly. All right, and I'll just push it down into place. Okay, and now we're all the way pushed down in there. So from here we got the um, the new float needle. The float pin back in, and we'll check out the level now. Okay, and now you look at the level. See where we're at now? That's where we should be. We'll throw this thing back on. It's going to be good to go. Again, I'm going to put the bowl back on, so I'm using some of that, a uh, little bit more of that seal glide on it. Put it on the O-ring, and I clean this using the uh, pine saw in the heated bath. If you guys are subscribed to my channel, you will see that. I use it in a lot of my um, cleaning videos, these carburetors. If not, please hit the subscribe button. So you can see how I use that. It works out really, really good. Let's get this uh, pin back in there. Bowl back in place. Gasket. If you want to get the whole kit, get the whole kit for a new gasket. It's, it's always helpful. I'm just going to reuse the old one. It's doable. It's fine. All right. So we're going to go throw this back on the machine and fire it up. There you go. That's all there is to it, guys. That that needle seat causes all kinds of havoc. And when you put a load on it, you'll hear the engine just kind of drop in and we're just totally stalling and running out of fuel. So so hopefully this helps you out, guys. Keep the um, lawn equipment running, pressure washers, whatever it is. Until next time, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for other notifications. It's Tepco Cycle Pair.